Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome back to Final Fantasy IV The After Years. Last time, we finished up Yang's Tale now. So, I guess we might as well move on to Palum's Tale. Palum the Black Mage has sworn to follow in the late Tella's footsteps and become a sage. His elder sends him to Troya to train Lenora, an apprentice ep 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 in black magic. What does a peaceful kingdom need such powerful magic for? The upheavals rocking the entire world are about to land on Troya's doorstep. We're on a boat. Hey, just name biting, Captain. Stop your whining. Look, Captain, how much longer do we have to keep putting up with that brat? I must be talking about Pollen. Um, were you voicing Pollen before, or was I? I have no idea. <laughs> I can do it though. Okay. What voice do you want him to have? Um, kind of an obnoxious, uh, um, know it all. Um. I'll just go with this one. Which voice for napping? <laughs> eh? Eh? Good enough. Yeah, that's right, I said voice. Black Major Presidia. Damn. Needs a haircut. I apologize for my crew's insolence, Lord Pollen. Lord, you know you're several decades older than me, did you forget? It, in that case, would you like me to, what would you like me to call you? Figure it out yourself, why don't you? You're a grown man, right? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, he's just as obnoxious as ever. So quit bowing and scraping. You're too old. To, you're too old for that act. How dare you speak to the captain like that? The fish. Huh? Did you catch anything? I uh. Uh, no, not yet. We, uh... Are you guys even trying? Is it really that hard? There's no good fishing around here. I've never seen a dry spell such as this. Excuses, excuses. Just give me something fresh, okay? We've got a long voyage ahead. He's a real pompous asshole. <laughs> yeah, so in other words, he hasn't changed much. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have taken this down. Palum's Tale, The Mage's Voyage. Should say The Maiden's Voyage. Yeah, am I right? Because he's being a bitch. <laughs> Just in case I had to explain that joke. You called for me, Elder. Mm, 
Where's Pollen? I apologize, Elder. I'll go fetch him immediately. I'm right here. Pollen, where have you been? None your beeswax. Seems like something he'd say. So what did you need, old man? <laughs> I have... I have received a request from a certain foreign nation. A request? Another prayer job for some country trying to... Palm its problems off on others, no doubt. Palm. I'll let you handle this one, Palm. By the way, old man, have you made your decision yet? Hmm, it seems like I should have left you stoned. <laughs> Uh, maybe. You're still not ready yet, Pollum. You're too much of an asshole. When do you think I'll be ready? Pollum. Alright, alright. So what's this request about? This nation wishes us to send a maid in order to train their... people. <laughs> I would be happy to handle this request, Elder. Epcot's? Epcot's? Epcot Center? Yeah. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Mm, thank you, but I've decided to send the brat. Maybe teach him some manners while he's over there. <laughs> what? Isn't it normally Porm's job to train the Epcot Center people? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going with. <laughs> Get over it. Ragnat, smash your head against the keyboard. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. It will be your task this time, Pollum. But what use would it be to send me? I don't know a thing about white magic. What use you would be depends entirely on you, Pollum. <laughs> Doesn't really look like he had a choice in taking the job. More like they're like, bitch, you going? Hmm, guess it's nighttime already. I sure hope nothing throws me overboard and I get stuck out at sea. And just look at that moon. It's getting closer and closer. Like like it's gonna fall. And then I have to call four <laughs> fat naked guys to hold it up. They're not really fat, but they're like giant heads with feet. So, you know, there's that. Elder, why did you send Pollum instead of me? Hmm, there are some things that only he is capable of, I believe. And what's more, 
Elder. He's finally keeled over. I'm fine. It's just lung cancer. <laughs> Good morning. Did you sleep well? Meh. Are we there yet? Uh, I'm afraid not. Why don't Are we there walk? yet? <laughs> Why don't you take a walk around the deck? Though I'm sure you're sick of it by now. Is this another one of those I have to talk to everybody situations? Probably. Even his stance is like <laughs> douchebaggery. Yeah, even his even his stance there is pompous. Like he was cocky as a kid. I don't remember him just being a flat out douche though. <laughs> I saw a fallen star in the northern skies, but I had a bad feeling about it. Apparently, a large city fell under monster attack recently. El Capitan! <laughs> yes? Make me a sandwich! <laughs> I seem to... Oh. Oh. Uh, yes. It needs to be a ham sandwich. With cucumbers. And ranch. Oh. About a month now, I suppose. I don't know how long it's... You'll have to ask the ship's cook. I have no freaking clue. <laughs> hmm. I guess there's nothing much I can say, given that our compass is broken. I mean, it's not like I could just teleport there. <laughs> that it is, sir. While we were trying to sail with a broken compass, I have no idea. You're all supposed to be sailors. Can't you just look at the sea and know exactly where you are? The hell's wrong with you? Uh, more or less. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I said. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry about this, my lord. Wait, up ahead. Look. I'm not falling for that again, Captain. There it is, the Cape of Troya. Shouldn't that say Trojan Coast? Hmm. Possibly. I'm so sorry it took this long, my lord. <clears throat> Aren't we still quite a ways from Troya? If you cross the western bridge and go north from here, you'll find a forest with chocobos. You can then cross the river on a chocobo. You'll arrive in Troya in no time. Mm. Doesn't it have to be a blue chocobo? Am I gonna have to inbreed them again? Because that takes a very long time. Indeed. Please be careful, my lord. Is that all? 
I'm truly regretful for the delay. Where's my sandwich? <laughs> S sorry. Not really. We should have thrown you overboard in that <laughs> week ago. <Right. laughs> when I get back, I expect peanut butter and jelly with the crusts cut off. Yeah, well, you little snot. Right. Okay, north, and there's a uh, chocobo forest somewhere. Their Hold compass it. is broken, remember? It's probably south. <laughs> <laughs> How does a compass break? Like, is that a thing that happens? Uh, I mean, possibly. I don't think that was really a thing that could happen. <laughs> you you love that animation too. The hell kind of pose was that? His, his, I guess his, uh, bitch face pose. Waiting for him to stick out his tongue, wink, and pull one of his eyeballs out of his sockets. Because <laughs> apparently that's what Japanese like to do. I don't even understand that. Like, what? what's the deal with that? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't, I don't get it. I'd love to go to Japan and be like, dude, like, what's up with this? I mean, there's a lot more I could be like, the fuck Japan. But, like, that one is just one of those things that I've always been like, uh, what? That one in particular, huh? Yeah. It's probably the least offensive, too. <laughs> Why is that trick naked? Hey, I'm sure it draws in great business. Oh, not enough money. Did she come over for me and was like, oh yeah, gotta be naked. Look at her! Yeah. Like I said, I'm sure it draws in the business. Oh, this one, not so much. Well, but... technically, you know, she does sell armor, so... <laughs> And nothing is as good as what we have. Good peace, yes, and that gives us no better chance to prepare ourselves for the dark times ahead. Sounds like America. America. It's nice to live here. I feel more at ease with so many women around. Oh, are you swimming with us? Are there still... Sure, tell him you want to play Marco be... Polo. <laughs> Wink! No, uh, no hidden chests in here this time. That's because they're out in the open. <laughs> Gadoosh! <laughs> hey, motorcycle. Can you hear that? Uh, no. Oh, okay. It's very loud. It's either a motorcycle that... or, like, an old well, car. Well, that, that I heard, that, um, whatever that is you crunched up. That is a water bottle. <laughs> The, the number of black chocobos has really plummeted lately. Racists. Ooh. Right? Found a few hidden items over here. What's a dry ether do? 
Um, it's basically a better version of the... Restores 150 MP. Ah. So is it ether or ether? Um, I've always pronounced it ether. I think that's how most people pronounce it. I'm sure Watch Ragnats will come up and come on and say that it is pronounced ether. He'll probably pop up and be like, no, it's pronounced ether. <laughs> Gosh. What's wrong with you guys? I oh, don't no, no. Oh, and if Jason's watching this, it's a, it's a cataco demon. Not a caco demon. Screw you. <laughs> Do what I want. You guys are still... Okay, that time I heard it. Yeah. I don't know what the hell he was doing that time. Probably just revving his... Revving it, driving... Like, driving it up and down the street, just revving it really loud. Trying to sound like a total badass, which he... Yeah, we're in the is. back of an apartment complex, though. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the apprentice Epcots are progressing along with their training. I know that's gonna drive him crazy. <laughs> and anybody else I who know that's... watching who like yeah. sticklers about it. Which right. I will admit, you know, there's been a couple Let's Players I've watched and then they pronounce something that I pronounce differently and I'm like, wait <laughs> what? But it doesn't grind on me like Ragnat. One of the most one of the most grinding ones is for me is um any uh, Super Mario videos where people will pronounce Lakitu as Lakitu. That's a new that's, one. That's always one that's jumped out at me. Or pronouncing, or for like Zelda, pronouncing Ocarina as Ocarina. Ocarina. <laughs> the water and nature we're blessed with make farming vegetables a breeze around here. That's part of why you find a lot of people raising chocobos in the area. Cocobos. <laughs> Bahambit. That's still like one of my favorite dorkly videos. <laughs> go to ne <laughs> Go to Nibelbime on my choco on my cocobo and get Bahambit. <laughs> Have you ever said these words? Uh <laughs> Shut up, Seven Raya. <laughs> <laughs> These Great. people seem to be, uh... Oh, why don't you say hello to everyone? Otherwise... Quee quee. Mm -hmm. Quay quay. Eh? <laughs> Otherwise, the rest of them are saying about the same things they said in the original game. We're awesome and you suck? <laughs> More or less. I hope Palm gets hurt. <laughs> I don't know why. Is that bad? Like, I just want him to get, like, injured so he quits being a jerk. The water and the produce here are fantastic. Eat as much as you like, alright? I'm sorry, we're not quite ready yet. Can you come back later? No. Welcome. Ah, uh, yes, what? once again, where we buy the, uh,. That's a lot cheaper than it was before, though, right? Yeah, much cheaper. Wasn't it like a million dollars or something? A hundred thousand, I think. Close enough in video game language. <laughs> Sorry, pal, but no one's taking my bar stool. You gotta fight your space around here. But... He's standing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's invisible. You can't have that one either, pal, because my girlfriend's there. <laughs> right. I, I've been a regular at this tavern ever since it opened. Surrounded by all these beautiful ladies. <laughs> Life's too good. Barkeep sure's a pretty one, isn't she? Would you like to be my companion today, my dearie? Oh, don't give me that dirty look, oh. you. <laughs> oh, not bad. You taken? 
It would cough at you. <laughs> you got the money to be around here, my friend. It's not cheap, that's for sure. That's all I'm gonna say. You're at a whorehouse, dude. <laughs> that's pretty much what this is. You at a whorehouse. Yep, same. Yep. Mm-hmm. Gotta get this wine downstairs. And then wham! A critical hit! Oh, the poor goblin never knew what hit him. This coot's been telling me the same story for years now. I'm sick of it. Yeah, he was. The, the guy in here was telling that same... Story about how he beat up a lowly goblin. See, is that awesome? Okay, I, doesn't seem like there's anything else in the town for now. Isn't that the town you're supposed to teach the Epcots? Well, she might. We might have to go to the castle. Oh. Uh. I see. Welcome to Troya Castle. The Epops dev devote their entire lives to the gods. Please don't do anything to offend them. Oh, um, this is gonna go swimmingly? Yeah, I was gonna say, for, for Palum, that's gonna be an impossible task. What? No, I'm not some old woman. Thank you very much. I happen to be the Chancellor of Troya, you know. How rude of you. What? You thought we were dancers? We serve as guardians of the Apops themselves. Oh, he's, yeah. The, he's gonna get kicked out. The, uh... The, the Epops, are, they're the, uh... They're what they call the, uh... Those women who essentially run the place. This is the traditional uniform of the Trojan Guard. It's been passed down for generations. Gross. <laughs> She's got a great grandmother's boob sweat going on in that. <laughs> well, she didn't say it was never washed. Oh. Here's a G string that I used to wear when I was your <laughs> age. Like. Whoa! Whoa! Thank you for coming to Troya, something. That is what I have of it. I'm sure you're aware of the reason why we've requested the Elder of Mysidia to send you here. Because you want to get me laid with all these half-naked <laughs> women around? You should be so lucky. I thought Troya had eight Epcot positions filled. One of our group has fallen ill, I'm afraid. The Epops of Troya cannot fully carry out their rule unless all eight of us serve as one. We're kind of like Voltron. Uh-huh. So basically, you need a new Epcot and fast. Exactly. I see the talented mage of Mysidia has a very sharp mind indeed. Ah, uh, don't feed his ego, lady. That's the last thing you want to do. So, who will it be? Please enter, Lenora. Nice hat. Pop Trainee of Troya, Lenora. When I heard your name was Lenoria, I was gonna call you Leonard, just to be spiteful. But <laughs> since you're wearing that hat, I'm gonna call you Pope. What? <laughs> 
Did I offend you, Pope? You want you want her or should I? Uh it doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do. No. Lenore arrived in Troy about eight years ago. She immediately showed interest in joining the Apops and has distinguished herself in service ever since. In recognition of her talents, we wanted to nominate her to the vacant position. Alright, alright, enough introduction. If she was talented, then why would she need training in the first place? How can you... How can you say you have talent if you can't even become an Epcot without someone drilling things into you? Uh-oh. Well, you see... Besides, isn't it your job to train this girl? I mean, I'd love to drill things into her, but... <laughs> You're being rude. The Pops are busy conducting their daily business. And... And with one of their member fallen ill, there are only seven of them to serve their nation. Yeah, 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 whatever. But are you sure I'm the man you want? And Epcot's job is to serve her crystal, right? Wouldn't you want her to be trained with white magic instead? You've got the wrong person here if you expect me to know any white magic. What? I'm a man, lady. I hurt people. You really should have sent Porum to handle this. N no, it's alright. Mm. White magic or black magic? Both can provide me with the spiritual training I need. I'm sure the Elder of Mysidia had a plan of his own in mind when he sent you. Looks like it. Then, Lord Pollen, we hereby request you accompany Lenora to the Tower of Trials. Now, Tower of Trials? That sounds like work. I don't do work. It lies south of here. If Lenore can reach its top floor, we will then ordain her as an epopt. It will be done. I look forward to training with you, Lord Palum. Yay! <laughs> Lady Gaga joined the party. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you're only level three. And there are no words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got for magic. Nah, 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 nah. Cure race, teleport, Suna. I wanna do them like, like I do in Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> face down, face up. <laughs> <laughs> the only way across the river is on the back of a chocobo. It'd be best for you to visit the chocobo village to the north before you set off. Aspiring Apops must train themselves within the Tower of Trials before they're ordained. See the Tower of Trials. South. Yeah, yeah, everyone's talking about... Oh, they yes. probably say Fully the Fully outfit yourselves, stuff. yeah. Reach the top floor of the tower, and then we will ordain Lenore as our newest snap hopped. Some of the castle's soldiers know nothing of our turbulent past. Then I kick some butt when I use Swordsman of Lens Star. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 
Ain't no surprise. Check out my red eyes. Our treasure chamber lies up ahead. It hasn't been used for quite some time, though. Can't beat my, can't beat my, no, you can't beat my Brooklyn rage. I don't wanna be a fairy. Alright, I'm done. I promise. Okay. Uh, so places are. Holy already. crap. Yeah, I know. They're, your treasury sucks. That's because Cecil raided it and then he never replenished it. <laughs> I guess so. Continuity, I guess. It'd be cool if it checked for saved game data, and if you did raid it in the past, then it'd be empty, but if you didn't, then it'd be full. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be interesting, especially since, you know, they have, like, the Steam versions here. Mm-hmm. They have, they could do it. Probably. They, other... they have the technology. Yeah, I've seen other games do stuff like that. Checking for save data from other games. <sighs> like Mass Effect. Mm -hmm. Actually, I need to get back to it. I haven't played it in like a month. <laughs> I, like, played a bunch of it, and then I haven't played it since. Got the thumbnails made and everything. Mm, nice. Can we, here. can we insult the king and queen before we leave? Um, well, that's the thing. There's not actually a king and queen of this of this kingdom. The those uh, epops, they're basically the ones who uh, who are in charge of the place. Ah. So it is like the Vatican then. And those are just the creepy old men who surround them, surround the Pope. <laughs> Whatever they're called, cardinals. Is that what they're called? I believe so. Yeah. I'm not Catholic. I would not know. Or bishops. Bishops move diagonally on a chessboard, sir. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have no idea. If that's what they're actually called, that's what I would say to their faces. <laughs> I don't know. Let's ask Google. Google! What would it be? Catholic hierarchy? Sounds about right. Alright. According to the Catholic pyramid, it's actually a pyramid, it's kind of funny. Uh, you've got Pope, Cardinals, Archbishops, Bishops, Priests, Catholics. Mm. So, yeah, I was right, Cardinals. So I don't know if maybe we should grind a level or two for uh, Lenora before heading into that tower. But you know why the the Pope wears that funny hat? Um, why? Because Peter was originally Peter Cottontail. <laughs> <laughs> funny hat was to hide his ears. <laughs> that makes but, that makes perfect sense. That's a South Park joke, by the way. It was a pretty good one. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> they like they do this whole thing 
I was like right around the time when uh, Da Vinci Code came out. Mm -hmm. So like, you know how in the Da Vinci Code they look at the picture and they're like, oh, well that's a big vagina or whatever. Mm -hmm. And like, they do this whole thing where they warp the picture and it turns them into a bunny. <laughs> it turns <laughs> Peter into a bunny. <laughs> It's pretty great. Yeah, given all the all the hype Da Vinci Code got when it came out, makes sense South Park would do a thing on it. Yeah, it was okay. I didn't think it was like the greatest thing ever. It was just like a detective movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like National Treasure, but with Tom Hanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. Yeah, it was. Ooh, they got a band. Back together, or... <laughs> Are they gonna be singing Rawhide at the bar? Like, what's the deal? They might. Let's see. little black magic uh, okay. what she do I don't what was she doing I have no idea your guess is as good as mine it's like he was like, stand back, Tuts. Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> kind of was. I mean, Lenora doesn't even have any black magic spells yet. Although, that that actually did less damage than what, what Palum's doing on his own. At least for now. Maybe once we actually... Once we actually level up that... Maybe he was like, use my energy to do the spell. And she was like, eh, thunder. <laughs> I don't know. That's how Dragon Ball Z would work, right? <laughs> Give me your energy. <laughs> but he's, he's so cool, but so dumb. Did you watch that? Mm -hmm. I thought it was a good one. <laughs> I can't believe they finally went ahead and did it, though. Because, like, that was the running joke, was, like, they were never gonna do the Broly movie. Oh, yeah. Of course, the Digimon thing they did was awesome. Yeah, their that their April Fool's joke. Mm -hmm. The the but, th the thumbnail was advertising as the the Brawly movie, and then you click on it, and it takes you to them instead um, parroting the Digimon movie instead. Mm -hmm. Well, the the second the, yeah the, arc in the Digimon movie. Yeah, the War Games arc, the, the War Games movie. Which I just ordered that. Like, we just got that in. Ah, oh, cool. The Digimon movie. Uh-huh. Uh, and me and the female watched the first two arcs, and then I turned it off. Uh, oh, yeah, you, I think you were talking about that before, because you said you didn't like Zero Two. Yeah, it's mm. awful. She was like, why did you turn it off? And I was like, trust me, it's, <laughs> it's, it's better this Aww. way. At least... I, could at least let her watch and I tried to get her, her to watch some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh and she was like I don't understand <laughs> anything that's none <laughs> of this makes sense and I was like nope nope <laughs> let her watch Zero Two and make her own opinion on it I mean I, I thought I thought Zero Two is pretty good overall Eggnagramon come on 
came out. Well, you're talking about the in the 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 dubbing in the like the movie, like the uh, yeah, the movie there. Agnagrama. I just <laughs> thought it was um, just like come on, no. Yeah, like, really. Like Beamon. Beamon's gonna be the strongest. No, Edgemon all the way. Get out of here, Beamon. I mean, I will, I will agree there that it seemed like you would think that um, Takiro and Ikari should have been like the the main people of Zero Two since they were like the the alumni from the first series. Mm -hmm. But no, they instead get pushed to the background, and uh, Daisuke and Ken become the, the stars. Oh, please don't kick me again, sir. Yeah, no. No. It was dumb. I didn't like it. Should probably buy that uh, thunder rod. Ooh, they can both use one. Mm -hmm. I don't know though. They're I can't see either of them using a lot of doing a lot of physical attacks. Anyways. Did we confirm whether or not you can actually use the rods in battle? Um, I believe you can. In fact, if you look if you look at the item descriptions in this version, it even tells you use the cast uh, blizzard. Use the, use, okay. Yeah. Because that's one of those, like, every other game, it works. <laughs> but are you playing the correct one? Like, and you're just like, come on. What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yes. Indeed. Are you in here? Uh -huh. Nope. Are you in here? Nope. Did I, for some reason, actually put you in the PC? Uh, I did. I have Parasite Eve from Mission 3 and Wild Arms 2 sitting on my desk and I just opened the case for Parasite Eve, and uh, the first the first disc was missing. Oh, that's that's not it's, good. It's in my computer. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> so I was gonna play it the other night and didn't. Yeah, that's another game I started, and then like like two videos on, I haven't gone back to it yet. And see, viewers, I wait until I get, like, a good amount of videos before I start uploading something. Sometimes I do that when I get started on something. Sometimes, uh, maybe I'm a little excited to actually show what I have, so I'll post it early. Eh. Well, it depends on what all I have going on. I've got... Yeah. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I don't think I uploaded any of those either. One, two. Yeah, I have 11, like, things on here that I haven't uploaded yet. <laughs> hmm. Um, 
Well, I just uploaded one of them, so I have ten. <laughs> Doom 64 I started uh, earlier this week. But it's done. <laughs> and I finished that back in... October. Ooh. This... Uh, this is the Tower of Trials. Just felt like playing some Doom, you know? Mm, yes. But I don't want to have like 20 games going on at once, so... Mm. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> What's on the top floor anyway, cocaine? <laughs> the the monastic seal. So you grab that, come back, and you're an Epcot. Y yes. Oh, why am I here? Wait, couldn't you just grapple hook the outside and like? <laughs> go up the side and avoid everything. I'm not Batman, you twat. <laughs> Help your thanks and our prayers. Oh, enemy we love, and for the tormented we pray. Grant us the beasts of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. <laughs> Jake Cocoon there for you. Well, I'm glad to see you can recite your prayers at least. I'm gonna do a Hail Mary next, Pope. <laughs> yes, I, uh, are you ready to go, Lord Palum? That was dramatic camera. <laughs> Let's make something clear first, Tuts. Yes? When I say make me a sandwich, <laughs> you make me a sandwich. But... With no crusts. I made Jade snort. <laughs> I, uh... I'm actually two years older than you. Uh, yeah, good for you! Don't expect me to start calling you Miss Pope or anything! <laughs> that's, uh... That's perfectly fine with me, Lord Palum. Like I said, make me a sandwich! Yes, Palum. That's better. I'm totally gonna spit on it. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna take a little break here, and uh, next time we'll uh, head up the Tower of Trials. Can you switch her to be your... Or this game doesn't um, let you do that, does it? No, this game doesn't let you switch your... Uh... Uh, no, sadly. Yes. We're stuck with his stupid stances. Pretty much. Might have to start drinking on this one. Uh, Which could be entertaining. Drunk <laughs> me trying to do that voice? <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Alright, see ya. Alrighty. Be back you in You didn't hit the button. What? Oh, yeah. I'm playing a game!